The deciding factor when signing youth academy players in career mode should always be potential, as both value and overall can be upgraded very easily, as we'll see in this video. The maximum potential figure should always be 94 and the lower number should be at least 74 plus. Youth Academy player value is determined by their starting overall and age. A Youth Academy player's original position isn't the one their attributes are always best suited to. So use the development plan to find a new position that improves the highest number of attributes. However, if you prefer your player in the original position, wait for the overall upgrade to be applied and then retrain that original position. Every overall upgrade will result in a value increase. The original value for this player was 2.4 million and following his plus 2 overall upgrade, it's now 2.6 million. And it's becoming increasingly common in FIFA 23 career mode that homegrown talents are also better suited to a different position. Homegrown talents are usually very well rounded and can be easily and quickly retrained to any of the other positions. So for this example, firstly we'll retrain this homegrown talent as a striker and then we'll follow that up by retraining him as a centre back. So firstly we converted this homegrown talent whose original position was central midfielder to a striker which took 4 weeks and he jumped from 62 up to 66 which is a plus 4 overall upgrade. However by retraining this same player from a central midfielder to a centre back he jumped from 62 up to 67 which is a plus 5 overall upgrade. So the next time you scout a youth academy player with a low overall and value but they have a high potential, sign them anyway and try a positional change thank you so much for watching this video please remember to tune in next time but until then it's fcg out